What's up, guys? My name is Mark Steiner, and... <coughs> <coughs> Almost made it through the intro without coughing. What's up, guys? My name is Mark Steiner, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Now, one of my goals for this year was to upload two videos a week, and I was hitting that goal until I got sick last week, and I pretty much hadn't gotten out of bed for a week, which is great, so I haven't been making videos. I got some weird alien strain of the flu, and I felt like something was gonna just, like, come out of my chest any second, and that was super fun. That was an alien reference for those who didn't get it. Anywho, I put up a question on my Instagram stories asking people about their photography confessions, and and if this video does well, we might do some more in the future, so let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more of this, or let me know your own photography confessions, because I would love to hear those stories. But if you do want to join in on the fun in the future, be sure to follow me on Instagram, that's where the magic happens. And without further ado, here we go. I told a client that I was busy on their requested date because they were so annoying. Ugh, that's, that's pretty funny. There are a couple that are similar, so I'll just put a couple up at the same time. When people hire you and then put a freaking Instagram filter over your already edited image, at that point it's like, why are you paying for photos? You know, like that's, that's so pointless. There's no need for that. Okay, this is a two-parter. My first newborn shoot, a baby managed to poop like everywhere and got on my 85 millimeter lens, so... I took it back, claiming it wouldn't focus and that it was defective because I was disgusted Poop had touched it. <laughs> that is legend- <laughs> That is legendary. Oh my god, that's, that's quite a story. I would not want to be using a lens that touched Poop either. Haven't cleaned my first camera in over six years. It's kind of a long time to not clean a camera, but if you're not using that camera because you have other cameras, it's understandable. This one's a good one. I hate when people think that the camera takes good photos, not the photographer. I wholeheartedly agree with that sentiment. I hate it when people just think because they see a big fancy camera, a big fancy lens, that you're automatically going to get better photos. I know people with much more expensive equipment than me who take horrible photos, and I know people who have much less expensive equipment than me who take amazing photos. So that perception needs to change. If this garbage truck wants to go away, that'd be cool. If they don't tag me in the post, I don't work with them again. Yeah, I mean, yeah. when a photographer does all this work and they're trying to get exposure through your network and you don't even tag the photographer, how are they supposed to grow and get new clients? Like sure, word of mouth is great, but if you're not tagging the photographer, you're also probably not telling your friends about your photographer. So. I feel that it's not worth working with someone else if they're not going to give you credit. Sometimes I sit on photos for months because I dread editing them. <laughs> I mean, okay, I've never done this with photos, but I did one time have a video that I was super nervous about because I was not proud about how I shot it at all. It was actually my friend's engagement video, and this is like when I was still using this camera. This is when I was still using this camera right here. And it was at night, it was, I had a kit lens, uh, so f3.5 to 5.6, and there was no light. It was, I was just so not proud of how this video came out, and I was just like dreading editing anything. So I sat on it for so long, and then they asked me to come over to their apartment and edit with them. And they loved it, and I was super happy because I was super not proud of it. I would not have accepted any money for this because this was not my best work. But as long as they were happy, that's all that matters. This is a bad one. <coughs> when a shoot goes horrible, posting and all, I don't want to edit them. I tell them the SD broke. <laughs> Man, that's one way to get out of editing. Oh. I sometimes want to post a photo first, so I keep the photo until I post it and then send it. This one is is not too bad. Like, I, I've done this before, and it's not really... Like, I usually deliver photos to clients, but I know if it's, like, especially a good photo and the, the client wants to post it before I do and I'm really proud of it, I'll probably just hold off onto it until I post it and then I'll put it in the album. It's not something that's horrible beyond compare. My camera battery died in the middle of a shoot, so I used my phone while it charged. I mean... 
Sure, it's a downgrade, but at least you're using what you have, and that's better than nothing. If I don't like the photos I take of you, I don't work as hard on the edits as other sets. Yeah, not wrong. Like, I feel like this is for most creatives, if you're not enjoying what you did, you're not going to enjoy the process of editing, so I, I understand that, I feel that. Oh my, okay, this one's a really good one. <laughs> Once my battery died halfway through a paid shoot, so I just pretended to snap pics. <laughs> That's, that is legendary. Just imagine just me like, hmm, my battery died, and then pretending to continue taking photos. See, like, my issue here is that the client probably wasn't hearing the clicks, so they probably knew that photos weren't being taken, you know? Oh god, alright. I never feel like I'm good enough. That one hits home, and I feel like a lot of people relate to that. Uh, you know, it's, it's easy to get caught up in social media and seeing what amazing photographers are doing every day, seeing what amazing models look like every day, and then you look at your own work and you're like, am I actually good enough? I don't feel good enough. And that's the nature of social media, you know? You see all this amazing work, but you also have to go back and look at where you started because it's a journey and you get better and better and better. These people that you're idolizing right now, they started somewhere just like you and they probably were as good as you when you started. So you have to keep in mind that these things take time and you're going to get better. I tell people I'm fully booked, but I really just need breaks here and there. I don't think this is that bad, I think it's important to take a step back when you need to mentally because if you're not into what you're doing, the photos aren't going to come out as well, the editing isn't going to come out as well, and you don't want to be miserable while doing something that you enjoy, you know? So you, if taking these, these breaks, these intermittent breaks, definitely do help, and I don't think this is a bad thing at all. When I shoot, I low-key wish my models were more hyped for creative artsy shots versus regular portraits. Uh, to this I would say probably think of a styled shoot, get a model in mind, and collaborate on something you both genuinely enjoy. I would make an account on the H Collective, the hub, not sponsored or anything, but uh, you can find models in your area that want to collaborate. It's, it's super helpful. Alright guys, that's it for this first episode of Photography Confessions. Let me know in the comment section down below if you found this funny, entertaining, if you want to see more of it, and let me know your own photography confessions. I would love to hear your stories. My name has been Mark Steiner, and I will see you next time.